Hey guys, Brad here with Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. Today we're playing through Ninja Gaiden. Uh, basically, this is ninja action. Uh, I have to help Ryu go to America to find some archaeologist. His father died in a ninja duel. And he said that I must take the dragon sword, the, the Hayabusa family's heritage sword, and go to America and I guess kill some guys to find an archaeologist. So let's get started. This game is very fun. You get to parkour a lot in it if you're into that. Since I can't parkour in real life, if I do it's just like jumping off a rock or something. Can't do flips. These boxing guys um, when I get to him again, I'll, I'll tell you guys a funny story. Uh, I used to, when I kill him, I used to go, Mike Tyson! Because they kind of look like Mike Tyson. And uh, if you watch The Office, uh, season two, I think it is, Michael Scott gets a phone, a cell phone, and he starts prank calling Ryan the intern. And at first he's like, Hey Ryan, this is Michael Jackson. And like prank calling him and he's like busting up at himself and Ryan's like whatever this guy's an idiot and Then later he goes hey Ryan this is Mike Tyson And it's like a funny so I used to go like Mike Tyson when I kill him It's like a funny Motorcycle helmets with baseball bats that's like a cool Okay, this level one's pretty short. We're getting to the boss here. I think his name is Barbarian or something, but he's really not a real Barbarian because he can't see anything apparently. He doesn't have any AI. And one complaint with, with my last videos with Brandon is he was like, you kill the bosses too fast. You should not kill them as fast. Well, there'll be time for that. The later bosses actually take a little bit longer to kill. The level 5 boss, actually, you have to just run at him and just kill him. So here's the first cutscene. Look at those fierce eyes, just like Barack Obama. I never watched the cutscene, so I'll go ahead and watch him this time. Hopefully it doesn't add too much time onto the video. Just a girl. Get out of here, girl. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Get out of here. Oh, she's got a gun. What? And she shoots him? Okay, that was interesting. Oh look, now he's in jail. I wonder how, how he went from a bar to a jail. Oh, is this a tranquilizer gun? That's good, so now the game's not over. Because if she shot him for real, he would have just been dead. That's an evil looking statue there. I'm sure it's going to come up later in the game. <coughs> Be careful, someone's coming. You know who's coming? Flying enemies. That is the bane of my existence in this game, are the enemies that fly and go all over the place. Mike Tyson! This shuriken's hecka cool. I like this sub weapon. Uh, basically, you can. Uh, it's like a boomerang shuriken. And what I usually do is when I shoot it, I don't let it come back to me. I like go like this and use it for multiple times because it costs five magic. Ninja magic to use it. The little 20 up there next to the to the left of the shuriken that's how much ninja magic you have left. See here come the bats and the eagles and all that crap. Those guys suck.
I'm sorry, if a dog in real life was running that fast and it bounced into a cinder block, it would have died. Okay, now we've escaped the jail. There's some witch things, don't know what those things do. Commando guy. Machine Gun Joe. The commando guys always come from behind. That tells you something about him, huh? And he just always jumps there like an idiot. So I'm gonna try to do some parkour here. Oh, that's cool. I just lost my sub weapon and I don't really need it because I use this. get past that part, the art of the fire will. I don't, I'm not sure if that's art of the fire will. The art of the fire will might be the one that you shoot upwards. It's another fire weapon. But this level you need to be fast on your feet because you get bounced back into those cracks and just die. Okay, I love this move. It wastes your magic but you get to do like a spinning jumping thing. See there's the fire will. Second boss. Me and Brandon used to call this guy Jason Voorhees because it looks like he's wearing like a hockey mask thing. You could just duck and hit this guy too, like a fast. I'm sure we're going to be treated to another glorious cutscene here. Yeah, look at that ninja action in its finest. Mr. Smith is an archaeologist, I think. We're going to see some nature here. Oh, look at it. Ha, ah, Ryu and Ken, that's hecka tight. Sorry I'm not commentating right here, I'm just letting you guys read this, I don't want to distract you guys. Wow, an entire nation. You idiot. Bye, friend. I'm not your friend, guy. Let's chase this guy down, get that statue back. Cheetahs. Oh, the hawks. These things, they usually load themselves off the screen, but it depends how fast they're flying.
screw that, two hawks. Those hawks are insane. I, th I believe they take away three of your health. And they just keep coming unless they load themselves off the screen. Snowy Mountain. And look, I gotta cut some eagles. To get some items. Come on. Bazooka guys. Yes. See that shuriken acts like the eagles. It builds momentum. And it comes back and forth. Now I can go over and get the art of the fire will right down there to fight this boss who jumps around a lot, but I don't have that much health. I test and I anticipate dying anyway, so I'm not going to bother. I do not anticipate dying there though. Ninja magic here. Take that. Had to waste five ninja magic on those assholes. If you're quick enough, you don't need to stay around for the bullet. Ah. I need to keep as much life as possible because this boss is kind of tricky. Take that, you eagle trying to kill me. Give me back my demon statue, bitch. start at the same level so that's pretty cool. If I just get over there with enough health I'll be able to just beat her ass. Looks like a female but the thing that grabbed the statue looked like a male so I don't know what that thing is. And another thing about this game is the enemies reload themselves. They respawn if you uh, advance and then come back, they just respawn, so that sucks too. And sometimes multiple versions of themselves come. And that guy just committed suicide. Must have been a kamikaze. down this time. Core. Get my fire wheel. Take that. Right in the ass. Good, I would have done, I would have just like went to like Nova Scotia or something and just buried it. I wouldn't have kept the demon statue in my position. 
I would have buried it like 80 feet into the ground. Or like destroyed it or something. Oh, that's heck of tight. I'm gonna become the ninja dragon. Uh, spoiler alert. You don't actually get to turn into a dragon. Which would be hecka helpful against the last boss, but... No. said why they put a question mark in it. are pretty long. That's 17 minutes. I am probably going to have to break this up into two episodes. Guardia de Mew. Oh, Jack Leo. That bastard. Jack Leo doesn't need that power. We need to stop him. information Kevin that you live if you don't finish the mission. Oh, attack of Titan. I think this was the first game that I played that actually had cutscenes in it, but I never really read them. I just skipped by them. It's like taking everything in my power not to skip these cutscenes for you guys. Spiders. Oh, I forgot, forgot about that guy. You gotta just jump over there and kill him before he shoots, otherwise you're never getting over there. <sighs> Here comes the hawks again. Stupid, annoying hawks. I don't want that. don't want that either. I know there's a, um... Invincible fire thing around here somewhere. Did I miss it? No, I think it's up there. Go like gangbusters through this level now. 
Just don't stop running, don't stop parkouring. Oh. There goes those commandos always coming from behind. Those bats are slow, I appreciate that. Faster. Just hit me. I always think that the game glitches up here. But... I get a nice view of the temple now. Look at him standing there all heroic. The ending sequence when you beat it, I think he's standing there and he's got his... his uh, mask off. This is when things get interesting. These enemies are hecka cool. You got the jack-o'-lantern guys right there. Those green guys with the big dildo sword. Things start getting more ferocious, like more monsters. Don't get caught Ryu is gonna try to butt rape you with that dildo sword. Just like Flash Man with Mega Man having KY all over the stage to get him all ready. You check out my last video by the way. Uh, Mega Man and Kid Icarus, those are pretty good too. Uh, my first one was a boy, a boy and his blob. Mike Tyson! That guy throws knives at you. That guy throws a mace. Too late, mofo. Oh, those statues, those are like the bosses of this level, but bigger, and they don't shoot stuff. And I get a little health down here. But I'm actually going to die because if you die on these bosses, I think you go back to 4-2 or something like that. On some of the bosses, if you die on them, especially the next boss, level 5 boss, if you die on him, you actually go back to the very beginning of the level 5 one. So, get this potion of life. Kill this asshole. And I believe I'm almost to the boss of level 4. Let's go, Boomerang Shuriken. Oh, yeah, Jason Voorhees. Oh, no, I'm not to the end of the level yet. Oh, this is the last part of it. Jason's got an axe now. Those little jump kick guys are heck of annoying too. Okay, here come the statue bosses. Now sometimes when I hit these guys a lot, they'll like die. Like then there'll only be one which makes the battle so much easier. The good thing is they don't really have a pattern, they just like jump on the columns and stuff and you just have to be patient and hit them. Like as long as you stay over here you're pretty safe because they'll jump on the column before they hit you. These guys are not wanting to get their life drained. Take that. Haha. <laughs> piece of cake now. Level 5, here I come. Oh, are you mad that I killed your boyfriend? Or your girlfriend? Now you're dead too. Oh, tea bag, tea bag, tea bag. 
Oh, look at that asshole. Jack wheel. No. Obama says no. Don't do it. Just let her let that little Martian guy stab him. You can use a dragon sword and go cut him. Game over. You win the game. Ah, oh, trapdoors. Ah. Uh. Sacrifice. Come on, Jack Ray, don't be a dick. Oh, look at that evil face. And I'm actually gonna stop this on 5-1. So it's I'm already at 26 minutes, so I'll just start a new video. And we'll see you next time. I'll go ahead and upload this one shortly for you guys to enjoy. As always, it's a pleasure playing for you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on our Facebook page at Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. And you could also um, listen to our other podcasts because they're hilarious. Uh, let me know what you think. Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.